you asked us questions about the 2019 Chevy Blazer on Instagram, and here's our responses. From Cody Rice, screen size, no question mark, but yes, there is a eight inch screen. So yes, it's bigger than your iPhone Plus. Is it just a rebadged Traverse? Good question. It's actually slightly smaller than a Traverse, but built off the same platform. Zero to 60 on our 2.5 liter model, not quick enough. <laughs> How bad is it? For the price, it could be better. Engine and exhaust, not exciting. Man, a lot of these are duplicates. News, news on Ford Bronco. I love that this boring SUV made you think of a more exciting one. <laughs> Airbees one asked cooled and or ventilated seats. Our specific vehicle had uh, heated seats, but because they were cloth, the cooled and ventilation is not available, but it is on higher trims. I want a damn V8 B body on frame. Get a time capsule and go back to the 70s. Third row seating. Other platforms this vehicle is built off of do have third row seating. This, however, does not. It's just a slightly larger two row. From Samil Row. I mean, this hatchback Impala is cool, but when are you showing us the new Blazer? It's a good question. What do you have? Horsepower. Well, where's that one? Uh, again, I can't even say that. Our model we had was 193 horsepower, and the V6 version has 308. Layton 1818. Is it fast? No, I'm back to more zero to 60s. Nicholas Habzanski asks, does it deserve the Blazer name? Well, if you're from my generation, the old Blazer I grew up with is worse than this anyway, so yes. <laughs> paddle shifters. That one guy, Ryan0625, asked about paddle shifters. Well, for 193 horsepower and a front wheel drive SUV, I'm glad there aren't paddle shifters. Why is it so ugly? I actually don't think it's that bad. Kyo Jafet? Wow, that dude did ask a lot of questions. You're not kidding. Question number 5,162 from Kyo Jafet. Does it have a CD player? No, but it might have a mini disc player. Benjamin Mustafa. Dude, that Kyo Jafet had so many questions. Holy shit, you weren't kidding. Um, I'm trying, a lot of these are repeats and some that just aren't like fun to answer. Auto Man Dan. Hi, Dan. Did you all really get sent a base model? Yes, we did. We re-review all models, and this is the first one they sent us. We will have an RS later, but we started with the lowest trim option. <laughs> please. Saw one at the Rolex 24. <laughs> From Durfound101. Saw one at the Rolex 24. Was full of cheap plastic. How about that one? Well, Durfond, maybe you should have been watching the Rolex 24 instead of paying attention to a blazer. Do you know where it's gonna be built? Oh, it's Mexico. Final assembly is Mexico, right? Ooh. <laughs> From Art, I don't even, hold on. Let me start that again. Art, Art, I don't even know how to say that. Oh, you must be way far down. I haven't seen those at all. Oh, there we go. Made in Mexico, question mark. Yeah. Uh, Billy Jack, so Dicky uh, asked, made in Mexico question mark. Uh, it is. Engine and transmission are assembled in the US, but final assembly is in Mexico. Hopefully there's a four wheel drive model that can climb that wall. Heads up this, okay, so, oh, I gotta pause, I keep forgetting their name. From Timur Nergaliev, heads up display. Unfortunately not, but I do appreciate the heads up displays that GM puts in their vehicles. I think it's personally convenient, keeps your eyes forward and on the road. Oh my God, that Kyo Jafet, dude, holy shit. User J.O. Cho asks, Lamborghini taillights? Pretty much. ND728 asks, spare tire question mark? There is a full size spare, as well as some cubby storage where the spare tire is underneath the floor. Vernon 89, back seats fold down question mark? If so, how? There's a recliner lever, like a normal front seat, and the seats fold flat to allow for Pretty good sized storage through the cargo area. Ali Ibram 7325 asks, what is the miles per gallon? Uh, the EPA ratings are 22 city, 27 highway, and 24 combined. Nate Knackman asks, startup sequence please. Typical GM gauge sweep, which I'm a fan of. That ended abruptly. I don't know what else to say to that. <laughs> Headlights and turn signals please. Yes, they work. Cargo space. Uh, the cargo volume for the rear cargo area behind the rear seats is 31 cubic feet. And we actually fit 11 carry-on suitcases. So enough for you to flee to the north. Exhaust sound, very underwhelming. 
price. Our front wheel drive 2.5 liter four cylinder came in at $35,340. Not exactly the cheapest option for a two row SUV of its size. Sport mode? Question mark? There is a sport mode as well as a winter mode and a normal driving mode on a knob that seems useless. Oh, you can fold down the rear seats from the back. Oh, I messed that one up. Sunroof? Question mark. Our lower trim model did not have one, but you can get them on other Blazers. Shift knob. Yes, thankfully this actually does have a proper shift lever and not a dial or a mess of buttons. Does it have hard plastic everywhere in the interior? To be nice about it? Yes. Air vents, question mark. If you're familiar with the six gen Camaro air vent style with the outer rim controlling either your fan speed or your temperature, it is a carryover from that design in the Blazer. Be sure to click the link below for more info on the 2019 Chevy Blazer and be sure to follow at Car and Driver on Instagram.